first start stretch it out pull it up cross over and then i tuck it underneath okay right, and then i move it to my liking don't be afraid to move the arm i start on one side and i start palpating over i don't just go directly to where i'm going you have to do a, a feel of all of them because every time it won't be um, a very visible popped out vein sometimes you have to start over and you'll start being able to feel what the regular skin feels like and then once you palpate across and you find a vein now you're starting to understand what a vein feels like so i'm gonna go right there first thing first we get our alcohol pad this is where i'm gonna go i see a great vein i'm gonna start in the center and then i am going to spiral out as that is drying put my safety back pop my cap i'm going to pull the skin down this is called taunt and go right in i'm going to grab my tube i have this hub hold it real steady and i pop my tube in it's right here so i'm just use the top and i'm gonna push it right in as soon as i see a first side of blood i'm going to pop my tourniquet mm -hmm. i popped it nice and gently i'm going to pull my tube out get my gauze i usually do mine in force i hover over the site i pull out i press down and then i engage my safety i'm gonna tell her can you apply pressure there I put this hub down, I grab my tube, mm -hmm. I invert. Yeah. There's three or four inversions for this specific tube. And then you're going to get your pen. Can I get your name and date of birth again? Uh, What's your date of birth? Is that you? Yes. This is verifying. You have to write the name on the tube and then show her, is this mm -hmm. you? Okay, I'm going to get my bandage together. Before I bandage her, I have to check the site. I have to make sure it stopped bleeding. It looks really good. Put that back over. You can either throw it away, keep it under for a little extra cushion. All right, and then 